and we are doing a girl talk Q and A. And this one is a little bit juicy. That's tricky. Can we call in a, a, a phone a friend for this one? What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Julia Peterson and this is Mrs. Sophia Watts. Today she is joining me and we are doing a girl talk q and A. It was highly requested on my channel and I thought that it would be perfect to have another newlywed on the channel today. Her and her husband make awesome content on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, basically everywhere. So y'all need to go drop them a follow because they're the best and they're our besties. And so you guys are gonna see them, some of our content, but we just hang out with them. So you'll see them around, I'm sure. <laughs> so excited to be here on the channel today. I feel honored. Oh, so I feel honored. I'm ready to answer these questions. Let's get right into it. There were a lot of really like TMI questions yeah. in here. You guys wanna, <laughs> you guys wanna know some, some personal information, yeah. but we're gonna try to be as helpful as we can without being overly graphic and disturbing. Yeah. Because <laughs> keep it light. Yeah. Okay, first question starting off is they wanna know how we met. Oh, so we actually talked about this last night. I know. Because we really. like had to figure out the timeline. So yeah. what did we what did we discover? We officially met. Shoot, I already forgot. <laughs> Me too. That's why I asked. It was in July, right? July was when we like had our social media like Instagram DM me. Yes, and we had a little yep. FaceTime call yes. and it was super funny because like we didn't know anything about each other yeah. and we knew that our boyfriends at the time had just talked and yeah. so we're like, okay, we're gonna talk now. <laughs> we gotta chat now. Yeah, and then we ended up meeting up in person and we, if you guys saw that video, we filmed a YouTube video with them in August. That was our first time ever hanging out. Yeah. Um, it's been almost a year and it's just been awesome. So much growth has happened. We've gotten engaged and married. Yeah. And we're just living life. So Crazy. so exciting. Starting off real strong. I guess this is freshest in our brains because we just got married. Okay. Was waiting for marriage worth it? 100%. 100%. I think that anybody who tells you otherwise, listen, it is so worth it. You will not regret waiting. Definitely. Waiting is worth it. Rewaiting is worth it. Even if you haven't waited, it's not too late to rewait. And we highly recommend because it honors God, but it also honors yourself yeah. and your relationship with that person and makes it so special. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just the way to go. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. They, you guys want to know about periods. You want us to talk about yeah. periods. And What's up with that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> No. Um, yeah, they're normal yeah. and they're something that can be talked about. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like if you're asking these questions, you wouldn't be asking if you like, didn't know. So right. someone's got to tell you. Yeah. First question is, what is your most embarrassing period story? Okay. Who wants to go first? I don't even, you guys listen, periods aren't embarrassing. Right. And I'm at the point where there have been uncountable Same. number of them. Right. I got my period. I started my period when I was in seventh grade. How old were you? Mm -hmm. I was 11. Is that? Is yeah, that... no, I was 12, 12 or 13. Yeah. Yeah, we were young. Yeah, so that's been many years. Yeah. Many, many years. <laughs> <laughs> He's not paying attention. <laughs> it's, been, it's been many years yeah. for us. So I'd say my, one of mine was just like being at school, we had to wear khaki bottoms and I was so insecure about Oh, you had a uniform? Yeah. Wow. Oh, you were homeschooled. Yeah, but I a lot of schools around our like area, they aren't uniform. Right. But. And so, yeah, that was, but again, I just had to borrow a friend's jacket one time because I just exactly. didn't know I started, but it's not embarrassing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't really, just funny stories, honestly. I was a dancer. And so if you know anything about like a ba ballet dancer, if you know anything about like the, I guess uniform, it's like pink tights and like a leotard in different colors, but I would start all the time and it would be get all over my tights and stuff. But I mean, it was all girls dancing. It happened right. to like everyone. We would all like, it would all happen at the same time. It wasn't exactly. embarrassing. I would just say funny stories. Yes. <laughs> and the worst thing is, is like, well, I guess the best thing about being a girl and being able to bond with other girls is like when you don't have a product that you need while you're on your period. Yes. And like, Someone always has your back. Yeah, yeah, for real. So I've had random people in like the store asking me for them before. I'm like, I have had that too. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Help a girl out. I'll help you out. <laughs> Anytime. But yeah, sorry if that's a letdown of an, a period story answer, but we just don't want to get graphic on the internet. All right, they want to know about shaving tips. Now, okay. I personally am not the person to ask because I'm horrible at it. <laughs> Definitely exfoliate after Yeah. the next couple of days. Exfoliate, make sure that you are using like a newer razor. 
Um, make sure I use a shaving oil instead of a shaving cream. I've heard that, that works. Helps. Yeah. But as far as like how to prevent razor bumps, if you find a solution, you tell me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying up here. I'm like, honestly, yeah. someone tell me a shaving tip. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I really want to do laser hair removal, but that's I actually had laser hair removal, um, and so I'm still like on my last treatment, so I still mm -hmm. am shaving a little bit, but I'm going through the process of not having to shave anymore. So you love it. Love it. Yeah. I mean, it's pricey, but I actually just made a whole YouTube video about it, like explaining all the pricing and things like that, mm -hmm. but totally worth it. Yeah, that's what I've heard. So we'll be working on that yeah. hopefully soon. For yeah. <laughs> and next question is how to deal with fake friends. I would say my best advice is like if you know they're a fake friend, they're not a friend and put your time and energy into someone else. I spent way too much of my time growing up and in my high school and middle school phase trying to be like people please and fit into a crowd that didn't really want to be around me and like looking back I'm like why did I do that why did I waste yeah. my time doing that that was so not worth it and looking back I'm like you know I'm an adult now and yeah it doesn't matter <laughs> like it really doesn't it does not matter at all I've always kept my circle like pretty small just because I don't know growing up I didn't have a ton of friends because mm -hmm. a lot of people are like I guess fake whatever you want to call it right but yeah, yeah you just have to distance yourself from them you'll be able to tell pretty quickly if someone's like that fake friend or not and you just have to distance yourself from them yeah totally next question what do you do when it seems like a guy likes you but doesn't try to talk to you can we call on a, a, a phone a friend for this one what okay here's the question guys this is my amazing husband Jacob joining um. the girl talk really quick <laughs> What do you do when it seems like a guy likes you but doesn't try to talk to you? And our question for you is, if a guy likes a girl, will he try to talk to her or will he just ignore her? Is it like a nerve thing? Or is it like, does he not like her? I always like her? talk to them. You do? Like before... <laughs> before I started talking to you, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so you like someone, you went for it. So what yeah, would you- if I like somebody, I went okay, for so it. Okay, so if you, what would you give your advice to a girl who says, I think that this guy maybe likes me, but he doesn't talk to me. Yeah. What is she, what is she supposed to do? How is she supposed to feel? Okay, well, I, I don't know, because I feel like- Think deep here. I know, this is a big question. <laughs> Listen, okay, I, I feel like in high school, a bunch of kids, like a bunch of guys were like, I'm gonna play hard to get and like not yeah. talk to her and hard whatever. But like, that's never the attitude I had. I was always like, if I like somebody, I'm gonna talk to them. Like I want to talk to them. I'm not yeah. gonna be like, oh, I like you, but I'm not gonna talk to you. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you're right, yeah. doesn't it? So, the, so if a guy isn't talking to you, basically moral of the story is maybe he likes you, maybe he doesn't. And if he truly likes you, he will talk to you. I and agree. If, and if he's I've not talking to you, not. if he's not talking to you, he's probably looking at you. And if you see him looking at you, he probably likes you. And if he's not talking to you, and frequently, maybe it's frequently. just a little crush thing. And if he's not willing to pursue you, yeah. or maybe he's it still trying it. to, maybe he's still trying to figure out if he likes you. Yeah, maybe he's just trying to, yeah, scope it out. Yeah, but also guys are really good at giving mixed signals, and yeah, sometimes very good. you may think they like you when in reality they just actually don't have a flirty personality. My so signal is clear though. It's hard to tell. <laughs> he came on strong. That's what we like. Will you be my wife? Yeah. And I said yes, and now we're married. Yeah. Don't play hard to get. There's yeah. no point. No, there is no point. So I think this like kind of leads us into another question is like, is dating in high school a good idea or not? I see people ask it all the time. And it's definitely situational. I dated Jacob when I was a senior at high school. Um, and I knew what I wanted in life. Yeah. I knew what my plans for my future were. Um, we didn't go to the same school, so it was a little bit different. And I would just say, definitely pray about it. Definitely know your maturity as a woman and know that this is not a dig at men, but men are known to mature slower than women. Very and much slower. They don't know what they want in yeah. high school. Most of them don't, some do, yeah. but it would be really wise for you to have several guards and boundaries up for yourself and standards for yourself. I can't say yes one way or the other. Right. I don't say, I don't say like absolutely not in every single circumstance because obviously it worked for us, yeah. but yeah. I don't know, what do you think? I totally agree. I wouldn't say no, because me and my husband, we dated, he was in his senior year, I was like junior year. And I feel like that typically are the, those are the ones that end up like working out. Like it's towards the end of your high school. Mm -hmm. Cause like when you're 
little and yeah. young and in like middle school or just starting out high school i don't know but yeah. also so yeah my husband's older than me so he had a few more years of maturity yeah. so we were kind of on that same level but i agree i don't say don't do it but i don't sit here and say totally date right. high school type thing i right. think it depends on each person and maturity levels and things like that exactly i mean jacob's three years older than me yeah taylor's so older than you so it's like it makes sense yeah you know? Next question is, and this one is a little bit juicy. The question is, how and where do you all shave down there? Do you think it is required when you are married? I don't think it's required. You're no. not required to do absolutely not <laughs> anything like Everything that. Everything will still function properly. Yes. And I'm sure your husband won't mind. I'm, maybe when you get married, you can discuss what yeah, what y'all would you know prefer to mm -hmm. do, but you're not required to do anything by any means. Right, and even yeah, I don't think definitely not required. And it won't sometimes, change anything. right? No, it'll everything will work the same, function the same. So it's ultimately based on preference. Yeah. Um, and yeah, if it and do what do what like you like the best. Yeah. I feel like if you don't want it like a jungle, yeah. Do what makes you feel good about yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's the best advice that I can give. But no, it's not required. Don't feel like it is. Yeah. Um, and if your husband thinks it's required, tell him it's actually not. And you need to have a conversation about that because <laughs> yeah, y'all talk about that. Yeah, y'all y'all talk about that. Last question. And this one's a more biblical based question. And the question is, how do you submit to your husband when you don't want to? Mm, that's tricky. Definitely hard. It's really hard. Um, because if you guys don't know, as Christians, we believe that, you know, the husband, it's his job to love and protect and nurture the wife. And he has a huge role um, in being like Jesus in protecting his wife as Jesus loves the church. And so the husband's role is actually, people think that, oh, he has an easy job. He just gets to love right. me and I have to submit to No, but his job, he answers to God first. And so if he's not doing that right, like God knows that. And so he has a huge responsibility in himself. And so this is the main thing. If your husband is answering to God, it will be easy to submit to him. Yeah. And I don't want to be like, oh, it's easy all the time, but it'll be easier for you because you'll know that he has the best intentions at heart for you. And other times it will be harder because maybe your husband isn't hearing from God or he is hearing from God and you're the one who's like in, being in pride or in like your fleshly desires. So it's, it's hard. It's it's not easy to be like, okay, like I'm gonna follow your lead on this one. And it isn't a sign that women are weaker, which people think it is. It isn't a sign that like women are the lesser than men because that's not what it's saying when, you, when it says that you need to submit to your husband. But it is something that is very important within a marriage. Um, if you guys wanna read up more on it, it's in Ephesians 5. And yeah, I'd say when that happens, we definitely have to pray about it because usually it'll be one of us that is not fully surrendering our own wants and desires in that moment. Right. Um, and a lot, I can tell you a lot of the times when there'll be a situation and I'll just need to let Jacob handle it or like be like, okay, this is, this can go your way. I don't want to because I want it to right. be my way because I think my way is better. Right. But sometimes it's better to just say, okay. Right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's and yeah, that's like a very good thing to do sometimes. I have to personally sometimes take a little bit of time and pray yeah. and sit back and think and just give myself a little bit of time to just process what's going on and how to go about it the proper way. Right. And yeah, so that's the main thing. But it isn't like if you're in by no means if you're in like an abusive relationship or something that is not focused around the Lord, it, yeah. that's, that isn't what this is talking about yeah, here. No. So um, please don't think that we're yeah. pushing that agenda because we're definitely not. We're just yeah. talking about in a good, healthy, godly marriage, that is how it's supposed to work. And it should work really well when your husband is loving you and loving the Lord and we are working as a partnership in serving God. So 100%, definitely remember that. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this whole video. And if you haven't yet, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I'm so thankful for you guys. Be sure to check out my channel every single Monday at 10.30 a.m. Central for a new video every single week. And be sure to go check out so Soph and Taylor's channel because you guys post like two times a week, right? Yeah, we're trying to do three right now. Three, yeah. they're killing it. I literally always have something new to watch. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Yeah, don't think we don't watch each other's YouTube videos. Yeah, we always do. 
<laughs> it's fun. We love it. Be sure to drop a comment and tell us what you guys want to see next. To give us an excuse to hang out again yes. so we can film another video. Do that. Just kidding. We don't actually do that. But <laughs> I'm just joking. But seriously, if you guys want to see Soph on the channel again, drop a comment. Let us know. And we're so thankful for you guys. Jesus loves you so much. And we love you so much. And we hope you guys have an amazing week. Bye. Bye.